that looks really nice. When you get started sewing, you want to make sure, take a piece of scrap fabric and you want to make sure your stitch is going to look okay. Okay, one good way to see how it's going to do on your fabric is to sew it. When you set it down flat on the table, if it's waving, then that means it's stretching your seam. So, play around with this and I'll show you in just a minute which one that I find out works. Okay, so I find out when I move it down, it down to two, that is what works for me. Um, because when you do it down to two, it's like it's trying to gather it and the bottom moves a little faster than the top does. So therefore, it um it keeps this thing from stretching. So therefore this is going to be a lot tighter. And that's what we want for underwear anyway. But we don't want our edge to stretch and be looking all crazy. These are going to sew together like this. Remember? And I can't remember if it's the... I think it's this way that they need to sew together. So that little indention needs to be on the front on the left side. Okay. Don't cut that edge. So we're going to take this edge, make sure you're looking at the front side, we're going to fold it over because we just surged it and then we're going to stitch it down, okay? Okay, that's what that looks like. And then surge these two front pieces together. Don't cut the edge. Now take your back piece and serge it to the bottom of this, right sides together. Serge it together and yes, you can cut that edge. Then we're going to top stitch it to the back. Take your side pieces and Surge this bottom side. Don't cut the edge. Now fold it up. We 
where you have your notch and get your other machine and zigzag it down. Don't straight stitch it. Zigzag. Mm. That you can go ahead and overlap your waistband an inch, and you'll be doing that too. Okay, so now I have surged the top edge of my underwear and I'm getting ready to put the elastic on. And I'm going to put the elastic on the outside. Alright, so I've pinned it to the outside of the underwear. And I've pinned the underwear to start a little bit below where the top is. That way we don't see it. And we're going to sew on this side first. So that way we can make sure this doesn't move. Oh, uh, wait. Go up a little bit. So as close as you can to the edge of your underwear. And we're going to stretch as we sew. Okay.